So wall clocks have been a staple in the American household for a very long time, not just an American household, anywhere across the world. That was until Google Home came on the scene and disrupt everything. So a lot of people just use their Google Home speaker to tell the time and uh, weather and all that stuff. It just handles everything for them. And so they don't really have a need for wall clocks anymore. So they haven't been given the love that, uh, you know, I think that they deserve. So like if you go on a Google search right now and you type in smart wall clock, the first suggestion that uh, Google is going to give you is probably an atomic smart wall clock that can just change the time, whether you spring forward or fall back. Uh, it'll change the time for you so you don't have to worry about setting the time at all. Plug it in, turn it on, and forget about it. And then the second smart clock you probably will come across is the one from Amazon, which in my opinion is not very smart. It links to your Amazon account, and then it just has some LED around the bezel that light up to show like a timer that you have active. I thought this was a step in the right direction, but of course, in my opinion, Amazon dropped the ball and they didn't really follow up with a smart wall clock uh, version 2 because they didn't get enough love for the wall clock in order to progress it forward. I did find a company that um, is looking to shake things up. This company is called Next Time and they make the Glance Smart Wall Clock. Now this is not a sponsored video. I found this. I purchased this myself because, you know, I'm not willing to give up on the wall clock. I want a wall clock in my house, but I want it to be smart. You know, I want it to match everything else in my house. Everything pretty much is smart in my house. So I thought this would be a nice addition um, to my house if it does work. I don't know if it works yet. You know, I didn't really read up reviews on it. So uh, this is gonna be a first time thing for me. And uh, together we'll embark on this journey and see just how smart this wall clock really is. All right, so some of the things it does, uh, starting right here, we have calendar, weather, call and messages, time, smart home. That right there um, is everything I want in a small clock, or at least everything I feel like a smart clock needs. And so on the back here, wireless sync, you have calendar, time of course, smart home, call messages, and weather. You remember back in the day, every time time would spring forward or fall back, you would have to pull out the ladder, climb up and get your wall clock and set it manually. Yeah, so you don't have to do that with this. I would hope you wouldn't because after all, it is a small clock. I don't consider Bluetooth products to be smart. I mean, cause it's, they're really dumb products that rely heavily on your phone. So let's open up the box here, see what we got. Looks like a naked wall clock. Is this fabric? Well, let's open it and see. So it is fabric. We have a rubberized back. It's not entirely huge. Okay, and then on the back, we have your mounting. And then on the bottom, of course, that's where you plug it in. This is the silver model. They do have a graphite version. Uh, we have a quick start guide, a wall plug. Uh, mounting hardware this goes into the wall and then a decently sized power cord let's go ahead and plug this in and get it get it running here okay first thing we need to download the app from the app store so I got my phone right here uh, we're gonna create an account here um, it's time to turn your glance clock on okay so let's go ahead and open this wire here just gonna go ahead and Plug it in on the bottom here, like that. And there's apparently this button right here is the power button. So long push it maybe. There we go. Oh, there is a speaker on it. Oh, let me take off the light here so you can see better. Interestingly enough, this clock is rechargeable. There's a battery on it, so it doesn't have to stay plugged in. You can, um, you know, you can hang it up in somewhere where you don't have a power outlet. And when the battery dies, you can just take it down and charge it. Um, or you can figure out a power solution for where you're going to install it. So the choice is yours. So I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a battery on it. So that's pretty cool. And the app will tell you the level of the battery. 
Let me go straight into the app here. So, all right, we turn on the glance clock. Let's pair a phone with glance clock. Okay, connect. Could not pair clock. Problem connecting clock, error connection error. Please check that your glance clock shows clock phone animation. Okay, so the clock is still doing this thing here. So I think it's still trying to set itself up. So I gotta wait until I see a clock phone animation. Uh, th there is some concerns here, like this, the back of this clock is not in the best condition. It looks used, this clock looks used. Does not look brand new. I did not purchase a refurbished unit. I purchased a brand new unit. So that's a red flag. You can see it. But if you look closely, there's like some, there's a lot of scuff marks on this, on this clock, on the rubberized back. And at first I thought maybe it was because of shipping, but no, these, these, these scuff marks are definitely like, look at this one here. I just pulled it out of the box. Like, why would there be a scuff mark around there? I'm not seeing any stains or anything like that on the clock face itself, so that's good. I'm starting to wonder if I received a defective unit because this thing passed the 10 o'clock mark and it's going around in circles again. And I can't do anything until the clock shows clock phone animation. Now I'm seeing some internal evidence of this being a used clock because it has a time already. And according to the instructions, it's supposed to take you into pairing mode, but the clock is not taking me into pairing mode. Okay, so it finally stopped and we're still not getting a uh, phone connect message. Yep, it's not going into pairing mode. So yeah, this is paired to somebody else's phone. So right here where that hangs, there's a button to reset it so let's go ahead and reset it and I'm definitely going to reach out to the company and let them know they send me a used clock and uh, I'll report back on how well they handled the situation just did a bunch of combinations but I finally got it to show up that's the icon that I need let's try and peer it now enter code to peer we got done it says connected all right, and this is how the wall clock shows, um, you know, in dim light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up where I want it after it charges. And I'm also going to reach out for the company and let them know what they sent me and report back just how functional this smart wall clock really is. Stay tuned. Happy birthday, Stanley. Okay, so it's been about a month that we've spent with the glance clock and so I have a pretty good idea of what this clock is all about. Before we get into, you know, what I like about this clock, let's go over the things I don't like about this clock. Number one, the box specifically says that the glance clock can be connected to smart home devices. Not true. On the box it said you can connect it to your home sensor so you can see like the temperature of your home or if a door is open and closed. Maybe that was the plan once upon a time but it is not implemented in the final product in the device itself. There's no native support for Google, uh, Alexa, smart things, rings, etc. No support for those devices. The only support I was able to find is if this then that. And don't get me started on if this and that. The product was cool when it was free, but when they adopted the subscription pay model, I just lost all respect for them and I kind of, I just boycotted them. I, I deleted all my applets. They left a sour taste in my mouth when they adopted the pay scale. The smart features that they're talking about 
is through if this then that and even through that app there's not a lot i mean there's one for weather on the ground and then i, I think there's uh another applet for wink hub who the heck has a wink hub i've met a lot of people with smart homes and can't say that i've met someone with a wink hub so and then also my personal opinion is I don't consider something to be smart if it relies on a third party software to connect it to another smart device, you know? I don't consider that smart. So just because, you know, there's some applets in if this and that doesn't make this clock smart and doesn't justify them claiming that this can be connected to your smart home. Number two, phone notifications are hit or miss. They're mostly misses. Uh, you know, I get about five spam calls every day and out of those five spam calls, probably one will show up on the clock. If that, most of the time, nothing shows up on the clock. But even if it does show on the, on the clock, it's just a phone number. Even if your contacts call you, just their phone number shows on the clock, not their contact name. So, I mean, if you're not familiar with their number, you being able to see their number flash on your clock is not gonna really help you much. At best, this feature is a gimmick when it works, but you don't have to worry about that because most of the time it doesn't. Number three, the rain forecast is completely off. Two weeks straight, we had rain every single day. And we're talking about like 70, 80% chance rain every single day. And this clock kept saying that it's 0% chance of rain. And like, you know, after the fifth day of it getting the rain weather wrong, I decided to take off the rain clock face and then turn it back on. And then for like an hour, it actually pulled up a 30% chance rain for that day, which was wrong because that day there was a 60% chance of rain. Uh, around the hour uh, that it's supposed to rain, you see like blue LEDs to represent the rain. So I thought that was really cool. And it was accurate when it worked. But after that hour, you know, the rain clock face just went back to zero percent chance of rain that leads me to believe that it's not where it's getting its data from it's actually the clock itself processing that data it's not as accurate as you know when the clock pulls the uh, temperature data that's much more accurate than the rain it, it's a bummer too right because this clock doesn't do a lot of things if you, if you count on your finger uh, how many things it does. I can only list three things that are worth mentioning. That's seeing your calendar, that's seeing the temperature, and the third would have been seeing the uh, rain forecast. Take away rain forecast, that just leaves two things, the calendar and the um, temperature. And both of these work well. I, I haven't had any problems with my calendar and the uh, temperature reading. But that rain, that was part of the reason why I got this clock. And to see that it's not functioning the way it should, it's, it's a real bummer. Number four, minding my business, look at the clock one day, everything was fine. Was typing out a script, look back at the clock, this is like within a 10 minute span, and the LEDs were gone. The LEDs to represent the temperature for that day was gone. I was only able to see four hours ahead instead of the normal 12 hours, which you can see uh, using the LED. I turned off the clock, I turned it back on. That didn't do anything. I cycled the app, that didn't do anything. The only thing I was able to do is just leave it alone and then the next day it self-corrected. Number five, the app is extremely buggy. I don't like this app. This has got to be the worst app I've used. Uh, this app clearly does not get enough love from their developers. It's buggy, it's chunky, it's all over the place. This app at best feels like a prototype. You hit a command in the app to change the setting on the clock and it, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, alarm for some odd reason in the app doesn't allow you to set any alarms for the PM. So from 1 PM all the way to 11 PM, you're not gonna be able to set any alarm for those times. You can only set alarms between 12 AM and 11 AM. That's a huge oversight. Like, how do you do that? How do you design an app and then when you're designing the alarm, you forget the PMs and you only put the ability to set alarm for the AMs. Okay, quick disclaimer guys, I have to make a correction. Upon further investigation, I don't think that the ability to add a PM alarm is missing. It's actually there, you just can't see it. Unfortunately, I have no screenshots or screen records of this issue. The Glance Android app is no longer functioning. I can't get in at all. All I get 
is this wheel that keeps spinning. I'm unable to jump in the app and show you what I'm talking about. Like next time knew what was coming. So they just killed the Android app. As of right now, I'm using my iPhone to manage all the clock. Though I'm using the same account with the Glance app, I had to reset all of my clocks and repair with my phone. It's the price you pay with, uh, you know, untested products. All right, back to the video. Number six, the adapter port on the clock is weirdly positioned. It's right underneath the clock. So if you were looking for a constant power delivery, uh, you would have this little stem for the adapter popping out from the bottom of the clock why would you design a clock that way because you know there's people that don't want to rely on battery with this clock because the battery only lasts three days and then you have to charge it up people don't want to deal with that right so they're going to find a way to connect this to a power outlet so they get constant power delivery and I, so i don't understand why you would put the port right underneath the clock because now that stem is going to show for the adapter and you make it harder for users to hide the adapter. Number seven, I don't know if this is a bug with the app or the clock itself, but I previously mentioned that I set an alarm for 9 a.m. Although I was trying to go for 9 p.m. And when I realized that I couldn't set it for 9 p.m., I turned off the alarm in the app. But for whatever reason, every morning at 9 a.m., the alarm still went off. It wasn't until I completely deleted the alarm out of the app did it actually stop. Again, another bug, you know, to deal with. And then number eight, minding my business again, I look at the clock and sure enough, it was just stuck on the digital time and the date. No temperature reading, no rain forecast, nothing. I tried to power cycle the clock. I made a couple of changes in the app. Um, again, this didn't do anything. The only thing I was able to do is just leave it alone and then it's self-corrected the very next day. And then number nine, but I have two, uh, glance clock and the battery life varies on both clock, which is a huge red flag. That tells us that there's no quality control with these clocks. One clock, the original clock that I purchased, gets about three days of battery life before it dies. But even when it dies, the analog hands still function, so you don't have to set back the analog hands. They'll keep functioning. But the original clock gets three days. I got a replacement clock sent out to me by next time, and this clock only gets 24 hours before it dies. That, that, that's a huge difference. It's a little bit alarming because now, apart from all these bugs, if you actually want to take a risk and buy the clock with all the bugs, now you got to add flipping a coin because you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know if you're going to get uh, a clock with the battery last three days or a clock where the battery lasts 24 hours. I was uh, hugely disappointed when I discovered that because that just cemented the fact that there's no quality controls with these clocks. So now let me talk about why I had two clocks. So earlier in the video, you saw that, um, you know, I had a little bit of concern about the back of the clock being scuffed up and so I thought the clock was used. I did file a dispute with uh, PayPal and the company responded to me within PayPal. They told me that they're sorry this never happens and that you know they'll send me out a new clock. So a week later I got that clock and um, I opened it up and sure enough this clock has scuff marks worse than the first one. It's just ridiculous like how do you have such poor quality control and like next time is not some kind of b-rated company right they're they're a big company that makes a lot of home clocks they really need to up their quality control because their quality control is terrible battery life the back is scuffed up you know the clocks are riddled with bugs the best way to sum up this clock is that it looks like a finished product to the eyes but when you start using it it operates like a prototype and this clock isn't cheap it's 170 dollars after all that bashing i do have to say though that this clock when it does work um it's actually a uh a welcome addition to our family like my kids enjoy looking at the clock and they understand how to read to get the temperature reading for outside so they have no issues predicting what the weather is going to be like in an hour or two i wish other clock manufacturers 
that design wall clocks thought of this because it makes sense. Why wouldn't you do that? At first it was a little daunting. I didn't understand how to read it, but it, within no time, you know, I'm predicting what the weather is going to be like in five hours just by some colorful LED lights. Here's a picture of the clock uh, when it was showing that um, it was going to rain. Forget, ignore the 0% because that was wrong, but look at the blocks. That represents when it's going to rain. And of course, if you have one block, that's like a little bit of rain. But if you have like three blocks, then that's a lot of rain. So I can just look at this, right? The time now is showing is 2.20, so it's 2.20. And just by looking at this clock for five seconds, I can tell that it's gonna rain heavy at eight o'clock. And so the temperature as well is the same thing with the temperature. Here it's uh, almost 12 o'clock, 12 p.m., so afternoon. Uh, just five seconds looking at this clock, I can tell that from 6 a.m. to about uh, 11 a.m., it was the coolest that you were going to get before it started getting hot. So around one o'clock, that's when it's going to be its hottest. And then around two o'clock, the temperature is going to drop until about five where it's going to raise a little bit. And then, you know, if I want to do some lawn work, the ideal time would be about six o'clock because that's when the temperature will drop off. If I don't necessarily need daylight, but I want to work when it's at its coolest, I can see right here at the clock that eight o'clock it's going to be the coolest and so my entire family loved this clock the idea is good the implementation not so much this clock is riddled with bugs it's expensive and it doesn't offer uh enough bang for your buck take away the led lights right what are you left with you're left with this basic looking clock it's actually a ugly looking clock when the leds are off so it's not even, you know, a fancy looking clock that can complement your home decor properly. So if it stops working on you and the LEDs go out, you're left with this ugly looking clock that's definitely going to get people saying, what the heck is that? Of course, the upside is that when the clock is working, people will also be looking at it and be like, whoa, what's that? But if you ask me, I would say skip this clock. It's not ready for prime time. <laughs> this thing is a prototype that uh, they decide to release to the mass market. They need to put way more work in the app, in the clock itself, and they gotta squash all these bugs because there's so much bugs with this clock that I'm tempted to go get a can of Raid and spray this clock down. Like seriously, that's how much bugs are on this clock. And if you ask me, 170 is way too much for this thing. This clock at best is worth $70, in my opinion, $100 the most. 170? You know what you can get for under $200? You can get your own personal weather station that you can set up around your house and get personalized weather updates for your area, for the area you're living in. And it will do a lot more than what this clock can do. I'm done. That's my rant. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me thumbs up. And if you didn't find it helpful, you know, thumbs down will work also. Thanks for watching. My name is Z. Hasta luego, muchachos.